What's up, everybody? How you doing? It's Brooklyn Prepper. I'm back with my 1022 mod. All right. I just want to give you guys a quick update on how, how it's coming out. All right. There you go. Got some modifications done to it. All right. Got the back. All right. Hope you guys can see it pretty good. But all in all, I'm really pleased with it. It came out really good. All right. And it's for storage space with these things. Like I said, you eliminate the wood stock. Right, which is useless. Maybe you could use it for firewood. But if you're ever stranded or you're out in the woods and you get a little turned around, right, and you have this guy with you, there's a couple little items will get you through, you know. So you gotta remember how many people go backpacking and everything else and the way this thing is configured, you could you could unscrew here, take the 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 uh, the receiver, the gun part off, right? And take it off and clutch and try it in your backpack. And so it's it's really compact too. That's that's one main feature I was trying to get at, right? But uh, the reason why I made this, right? So the reason behind my madness, right, is uh, going to be coming in, coming out in my upcoming video where I'm going to show you what I do with this stuff. And, you know, with this thing, right, you could tell me what I, I know what I'm going to do with this thing. That's my buddy Yankee Prepper. I'm going to take his, steal his idea with a little tent heater, you know. Thank you, Yankee. <laughs> All right, but he made a great tent heater out of uh, one of these ammo cans, and I'm going to, I'm going to copy, right. Too bad. All right, come down to Brooklyn. We'll talk about it. All right. Okay. So let me show you uh, just the couple little things I did to it. You know, like I said, like I'm a simple guy. I stay simple, right? Um, you know, but uh, feel free to comment on things you would put in these little storage compartments, right? See what I, I'm putting in. I'm not done yet. I'm still balancing out what I want in here. But I just want to show you what I have done with the uh, the PVC stock so far, right? So you can get an idea where my head's at. My my lunacy's at. All right, guys. Oh, yeah. Come down here. Let me show you. <laughs> All right. All right. So come down here. I'm going to show you what I what I configured. All right, guys. The first thing I did here is I attached a lizard to the side of the uh, the foregrip here. You know, because you never know. You got you have a lizard with you. You might be able. You know, you you get hungry. You can cook him, but he can catch flies for you in case you have to fish. All right, so Benjamin will be attached to the side of the uh, to the stock here. All right, <laughs> Benjamin, everybody, Benjamin. All right, come on, get out of here. All right, there we go. <laughs> there he goes. All right, so let me just show you what I did here. First of all, what I did here. Let's start off with the outside. On the foregrip I did over here, I wrapped paracord all around the front part of the, uh, the foregrip. All right. So the power cord went around twice. So I went around twice on it. And the same thing I did with the back part of the stock, I went on around once, only the back. So it, out of a, I had a 50, uh, a roll of 50 foot power cord, and I must have used about 35 feet of power cord on this and back. So I have plenty of power cord on the gun, right? Just in case I got to tie things up, make a shelter. You know what I'm talking about. All right, so what else I did here, right? This part. Right, the cap piece. If you hope you can see this pretty good, I got a compass. I found a little compass in uh in uh Dick's Sporting Goods. A little shout out to Dick's. I don't know why, but that's where I found it anyway. I put a little compass in this little uh, end cap. It fit perfect. I was so excited about it. I was like, wow. I was showing my wife, and she says, what's wrong with you? Why? Why are you so excited about that? I said, but you don't understand. It fit perfect in the end cap. All right, but that's, if you could see it, I hope you're seeing it good, all right? And on the other end, I put a little mirror, right? So you can have a reflective surface to signal jet planes and, you know, fighter jets to come save you. But there's a little round mirror on the back, if you can see that. I hope you can see it. Hey, look, if I shine it towards the camera, I wonder if you could see yourself. Can you? <laughs> but anyway, that's the little mod I did on the cap. So you got a compass with you all the time. And you got a little uh, mirror to signal. All right. Okay, let's move on. Let me let me take this forearm grip off so I have some more room. All right. Let's move that. All right. What I got in there is a little float. 
right? So I could fish, right? And I got one of these, a little nano flashlight, right? If you ever see them online, they're really great. Um, Low Buck Prepper turned me on to this about a year and a half ago. He was talking about them, and I bought a few of them, and I love them. They're really small, compact, and they throw off a lot of light, all right? So you got a little nano flashlight, all right? I put a little Gerber tool in there, all right? Got a little pair of pliers. It has tweezers. It has a knife. It has... A thing, you know, a little scissor in case you want to get a nice little hairstyle when you're out surviving in the woods. You could cut your hair, right? Has all little things in it, you know. It's a little mini uh, a Gerber tool. There you go. So, it fit in there perfectly. So, this alone is going to save you big time, all right? On this end, I was able, because it sinks into the thing, I got some band-aids, right? I put a, a bunch of band-aids in there. So, if you can see them... And these band-aids, I picked these band-aids because they have that, uh, what do you call that stuff, that neosporin on it already. So if you get cut, you don't get an infection and it gets starts oozing and you turn into a face-eating zombie. These things are great. They have the neosporin on them already. If you get a little cut, you don't want, you know, you're out surviving, you don't want to be getting all annoyed because you're getting an infection. All right. Now, and what I did here, hold on, I'm going to have to get this up. Bear with me. All right, bear with me for a minute. Let me use the screwdriver. All right, so if you're surviving, if you can't have a screwdriver out in the wild, you can always find a stick. I hope. All right, I'm gonna use my trustworthy American flag. All right, okay, anyway, and here's the other thing I made. All right, so I'm gonna try to show to you, so I hope you can see it pretty good. This is a little cap, and it has hooks in it, right? I got a fire starter rod, right? And around the fire starter rod, I got a fishing line. So I got my hooks, my fishing line, my little float when I need it, and my fire starter. Very important things when you're trying to survive. Well, what else I'm going to put in there? I'm going to put a little big lighter in there, too, because it's always good to have two options, right, of fire starting. But there you go. This is what I'm just starting, like, right here. What I got right here, you got a compass, you got a mirror, you got a multi-tool, you got a, you got a little uh, a float, you got hooks, you got a, you got a fishing line, fire starter, little nano flashlight, and the thing is not even filled up yet. The rest I'm gonna say, hey, let's not forget the band-aids with the neosporin on it, right? This little bit right here. <laughs> will save your life along with the power cord to build a shelter you know you get some branch and sticks and you can build yourself shelter you can tie it all together right and this is this alone will save your life but i do have more room in there but the extra room is going to be filled up with more ammunition right so with the extra room i have i could put about an additional 50 rounds inside this pipe all right so like i said i'm very simple this is all i'm going to need to get me through a few days. I'm not going, if you're lost, you know, it would be great just to have these couple little things. If you just had your rifle in your hand, right, and you didn't have these attachments on there and you're out there, you just want to go take a walk to be with nature or whatever, you want to hug a tree or something, right, and all of a sudden you got turned around, you couldn't find your way out, compass, everything, this will get you going through a few days, right, or even longer once you build a shelter and everything until somebody comes, comes and finds you. All right to rescue you by the woods. All right. Okay, and there you go. That's that's the that's the front part of the stock. If you got any, any ideas, like to put in there. Hey, what else I'm gonna put in there? Is some tin foil. All right. You might say, why Tim? They got this heavy duty tin foil. You could really roll up tight and slide it in there because say if you need to boil something. All right. You need a little, to boil a little bit of water or something. You could always mold the tin foil into like a little pot. You ever try that? I have. All right, and it works. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. Let me swing the butt of the gun around. Okay, now what I did with the back part, the back part here, right, is very simple. There's not a lot of stuff in here. There's one cool item that I really liked that I put in there. Okay, so let me show you. Okay, back here, what I did is, is I got, these ain't, these ain't mag uh, holders for the 1022. These are like simple little, um, Speed load is for like a 38, a 357. I think it was for 38, right? But they fit the 1022 mag perfectly inside. So now I can have 10, 20, 
and a clip inside the, uh, inside the gun, that would be 30 rounds. So I have an additional 30 rounds plus the 50 in there. Do the math, that 80 rounds. Okay, guys? And like I said, more power cord in the back. Right? And now, in the back part, I got this one item right here. This is a mag light. Now, you might say, what's so special about that mag light you got there? I'm going to tell you what's so special about it. Okay, it has a couple of settings. Um, hopefully you can see them go up. You know, you got your brightness. If you do it again, it goes half bright. You do it again, it strobes, right? But this was the really cool part about this one, right? Because you got to have the strobe. If you got to walk away from your camp, at the, uh, it's night out to get some wood, you put the strobe on so you always could find your way back. This is the cool feature. You turn it off, put it back on. What is that? Who could tell me what that is? Oh, I didn't turn it off. Hold on. Okay, who could tell me what that is? Yeah, that's right. That's SOS. It has a little program in there where you just, when you turn it, it would just keep on blinking. SOS. And that's a survival flashlight. Mag light put it out. You know, I don't know. It's just called Mag light. There was no special name for it, but on the package it did say uh, SOS. You know, uh, some features on it. Uh, strobe, bright, dim, SOS. So, Go into, I bought it at uh, Home Depot, right? Fits right in the back nicely, and I still have extra room to put a couple of little items in there. You know, maybe some more, maybe maybe some more needle sporing or something. But that's what I'm up to, guys. So I got my power cord on the back. I added this, uh, the speed loaders along here. And, you know, and the front piece, like I showed you before. I got fish line, fire starter, some hooks. And my uh, the little thing to to uh, to start the fire, right? A little Gerber tool, compass, mirror, band-aids, a nano light for some extra light, and they work great. And a little uh, a little fishing float. Okay. Hey, I just wanted to give you a quick update, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I had a lot of fun putting this thing together. I you know I don't know what else I'm gonna put in there, but right now I'm pretty much set on that. I think that's all I'm gonna need. You know, what else am I going to need to survive? I got everything. I got fish line. I got rope. I got anything I need. I got a gun, and I got a means to uh, get me some food and some water. All right, guys. Um, live for today. Prep for tomorrow. And watch my video coming out because I'm going to show you why I made this and why it all falls into place for me. Right? It's, uh, this whole little thing I'm making with that stuff I show you. All right, guys. Live for today. Prep for tomorrow.